Well, good morning, chat. Hopefully the week is treating you well. Lots of fun stuff to talk about today. And we're going to be doing an hour stream because I've got to bring my car in to get some work done. Apparently when smoke billows out of it, that's a bad sign. I tried all the technical tricks that I know, such as kicking it and yelling and swearing quite a bit. But all of these things apparently aren't what's needed for car repair. But we do have we do have something to pass the time this morning. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. I'm not sure if you've heard. But people have been bullied to death on the internet. They've been executed cyber style. Oh, tragic. It's a tragic occurrence. Apparently out there somewhere on YouTube, out in the ether, there's a YouTuber with 800,000 subs who likes to bathe in the blood of teenage girls. Who, who knew? I didn't. I didn't until I saw it trending. And it's just... It's so emotional. It's so fucking emotional to talk about this. Because, guys, people are dead, okay? Like, totes for real. They're dead, and they're never coming back. And it's all this girl's fault. Terrible. Now, how do I know somebody's dead? Well, <laughs> well let, me, let me show you some of the proof. Rock solid. Airtight can't argue with this <laughs> infallible undeniable truth that an innocent innocent little cherub has left the world to go back and <laughs> and seek the warmth of God's God's big cosmic hugs in heaven this was uh, posted two days ago uh, from the user account by the way this was a friend posting on the account to inform everybody <laughs> it's so sweet rest easy Lena you're probably happier in heaven. And you know how I can tell this is the real deal? Like, this this, <laughs> this bitch is deader than a doornail? The little broken heart emoticon. <clears throat> Nothing says, I'm never coming back. It's too late. Like a little broken heart emoticon. So sweet. Rest rest, <laughs> rest in peace, pupper. We, we hardly knew you. Oh, God. But what, what brought about this tragic death? I mean, I hinted at it. I talked about it a little bit. Evil. Evil cyberbullying. You people don't understand what happens when you call somebody a faggot on Twitter. <laughs> they, they run out and buy the, the rope they need to hang themselves. When you tell somebody they're a dumb motherfucker in a YouTube comment, just remember, they're going to suck on a shotgun later that evening, and it's all your fault. Apparently... An innocent girl, a super fan named Lena, has departed this world and gone on to the next. But luckily her friend is here to tell us everything that's happened. Again, from the same account, but uh, uh, this is the dead girl's account, but it's her friend posting. Here's Ada.it. I, I don't know what. I don't know what website these little girls use. Instagram, I'm guessing. Whatever. I'm Lena's real life best friend. Stop making rumors about it. That's the full truth. She killed herself because her idol hates her. And big editors bullied her. She's brain dead right now. And her body is just alive because of equipment. She won't survive this for 90%. It's a real hard time for her family and friends. So please show respect and hate will be deleted. I'm not sure what emoticon that is. Looks like a man with a uh, with a cone penis. Those are clearly the testicles on the... This is a cone penis that's been cut in half, separated from its testicles. I don't know what that message is. Not sure why you're posting it on a memorial page, but apparently her anger has turned into castration-fueled rage. She's brain dead. Hey, everybody, quick Instagram update. My bestest totally real friend... Fucking threw herself off a bridge, landed head first. Now she's retarded. People don't think she's gonna live very long. She's too stupid to eat peanuts. We keep throwing at them. <laughs> we keep throwing them at her face, but you can't catch any. Maybe it's a neck brace. We think it's she's retarded. That's that's the real deal here. Ninety percent won't survive. That's a that's a that's a medical diagnosis. Ninety percent. That's what the doctor said. Sorry, this girl. This girl's clearly retarded and brain dead. I give I give her chances of survival 10%. Can't even catch a peanut in her mouth. Now, the backstory to this 
is uh, remarkable. I want you to see, I, I'm building up, okay? I want you to understand this is a tragedy. Before we get into the horrific cyberbullying that took place, the, the, the meanness online, you need to understand this is a real tragedy that's totally 100% legit, not made up by a psychopath. <laughs> so uh, her friend's very devastated. Uh, Lena's dead. Um, Lena was a, a fan of this YouTuber, and the YouTuber had some unkind things to say. And, uh, you know, a lot of evidence was posted about uh, the traumatic things that happened, such as this. I just, okay. So here's the story. Um, this girl gets upset at a YouTuber, of all fucking things, a YouTuber, and says she's going to kill herself and attempts it, and then gets put into, and this is her saying this, a psych ward. I don't know if you've ever been to a psych ward uh, on a suicide hold where they're watching your ass, but I'm fairly certain they don't let you bring your fucking tele or your, your cell phone in with you to snap selfies. But apparently this psych ward was cool with it. Like, oh, fuck it, let her take her iPhone. Because she snapped a few selfies of her hospital bracelet with the wrong date on it. But that's not important. What's important is her Instagram story. So that's a full story. Tried to kill myself because of Haley. Because I did everything for her. Well, now I'm going to a mental hospital. DM her. <laughs> I love that. She should feel bad. Make sure she knows that I'm going to the nut house. I tried to kill myself. Somebody DM her. Show her the picture of my bracelet that I took with my iPhone. I smuggled it inside the psych ward up my ass so the nurses and doctors didn't remove it from me. Now, uh, I hope you're ready, Chad. I know I built this up a little bit, but I think it's time. <sighs> I think it's time we take a look at the bully. Really devastating shit, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> need to light a cigarette. I need to be prepared for this. It's pretty pretty hardcore, I'll be honest with you. Uh, here we go. This is what the girl did to drive this innocent, sweet little uh, cherub to suicide. Prepare yourself. Uh, this is from Haley Morales. That's a YouTuber's name. Uh, you A lot of uh, tween uh, like phrases and shit. I don't know what half these acronyms stand for. Not important. But that middle section, that's what made her kill herself. Okay, what you're about to read, that's what did it. No, H2G, I can't stand her. She totally buys all her followers, too. And she's annoying. Sorry, I don't like her. You are better than anyone. I trust you some more. Oh. Oh, God. Chat, do you need some counseling? I'm here for you. If we do a hug circle, we can survive this. She's annoying. I don't like her. That was the bullying that led to this girl throwing herself off a bridge or I, I don't know gargling glass or whatever whatever she did to off herself I don't like her she's annoying sorry actually said sorry like she felt bad for being honest I think she's kind of a pain in the ass sorry I know that's mean but I just don't like her <laughs> what what kind of clown world shit is this oh, and the great thing about this this entire shit show as it's, it's building. It's still building. It's been building over a couple of days now. There are so many memorial videos blaming this uh, Haley Morales for killing somebody. Like they're straight out saying Haley Morales murders her fans, cyber bullies them to death for saying, I found somebody annoying. I don't like them. It's gotten to the point where there's so many videos now circulating calling this girl a cold-blooded murderer. Her mother is posting on Instagram, threatening to sue anyone that continues to say that. Lena, I'm sorry this happened to you and your family. Lena must have been going through something really bad. But anyone who blames Lena's suicide on Haley will have to deal with our lawyers. Oh, you know it's going to be a fun time when the lawyers get involved. Apparently mom is not up for taking any shit when it comes to her little angel <laughs> facilitating suicides on the internet. We take oh, let me move that. Uh, in fact, let's let's just take a look at some of these amazing memorial videos. I think you're going to like them. Uh, very... <laughs> they're, they're, every one of them is the same. It's like somebody made a template and every one of them just copied it. Oh, they've got, they've got the real inside scoop. Remember, 
this this is the horrific cyberbullying that led to the death of a retard. And this is what has pegged this, uh, I, I don't even know what she runs, like a makeup channel or whatever fucking teenage girl does. This is what has pegged her as a stone cold killer. So let's, uh, let me just show you the most recent search results and just some of the titles that are out there circulating for Haley Morales. Uh, Haley Morales brings fan to suicide. Haley Morales needs to get off social media. Haley Morales is over. Haley Morales made somebody commit suicide? Haley Morales made her fan disappear? <laughs> Haley Morales bullied a girl into suicide. Bullies a fan to death. And then in parentheses, suicide. Drives fan to suicide. Drives fan to suicide. You, you catching? You, you starting to see? Haley Morales is evil. <laughs> Haley Morales is a clown. Haley Morales is the cause of a suicide? Holy shit, they want to lynch this bitch. They want to murder this girl. I love it. Fucking kill her. She's a stone cold killer. Uh, let's take a look. Let's just, okay, let's look at this one. Exposed tea, no views. So this is brand new. Haley Morales drove a fan to kill herself. She's got proof. Let's watch the proof. <laughs> the proof is everything I've just shown you. Oh, and they they uh, they went after this chick so hard for two days straight to make her apologize for somebody nobody can even verify as a real human being. <laughs> They're counting that as more proof that she drove somebody to murder themselves. Oh, this is a statement from Haley Morales. I did not drive anyone to kill themselves. I called a fan annoying, and that other fan was better than her in a private DM, which was completely wrong. No, it wasn't, Haley. Maybe maybe your super fan was a fucking annoying. Who cares? Which was completely wrong. But I didn't ever want this to happen. This is not my fault. Sounds like she's ducking responsibility. Our serial killer here doesn't want to own up to the fact that her mean tweets and secret DMs Oh, is the video done? <laughs> the video's a minute and 20 seconds. It's done at 20 seconds. Just, you know what? Uh, you just everybody, rip in peace, rip in pepperoni. Green is the color of mourning. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I, I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally informed now. That was a really hard-hitting video. Uh, let's find some more where they scream about her being a cold-blooded killer. Oh, where is it? Uh, Haley Morales bullies a girl into suicide. Okay. Oh, perfect music choice. She's been involved in drama. My poor baby girl, this is her editing her latest video. I'm not gonna, I don't need to show you my ESA dog. Okay, I think this is the makeup chick or whoever the fuck it is. The the Haley girl. This is our cyber bully, chat. This is the one that drove, drove poor Lena to throw herself off a cliff. Dog letter. Now I got Bambi. I got Bambi. It's my ESA dog because all your little bees be attacking me. But thanks to you, I got her. Right? You know, in fact, I don't even know. She might be more like of an Instagram kid. I don't know exactly what her fucking channel does. But I need to see. I need to see the truth. I need to see the evidence that this girl is a murderer. This is a very serious topic, you guys. Like totes. She recently. I love it. Just bullied a girl into suicide. Fantastic. This, by the way, I'm not even kidding. This one blurb right here, that's it. That's what they're claiming made somebody kill themselves. Telling somebody they're annoying. That's amazing to me. Oh, the music makes it more emotional, I'll be honest with you. Lena had to go to a mental hospital because of her suicide attempt. There's our proof. The wrong date on the bracelet. Okay. Apparently it's October right now. Oh, and the hashtags. We need to teach this bitch a lesson. Haley is over party. Haley Morales is over and Haley is canceled. Again, there's no proof this person is dead 
or that it was even a real person. There's no obituary. There's no police report. The parents of this particular person haven't said anything. <laughs> there's there's nothing. And it you know it really I, I think it highlights the fact that you could fuck with so many Instagram people with this. Just claim you're a fan and then claim they made you upset and you killed yourself. And you can fucking destroy them. Because these people believe anything. They're just chomping at the bit to go after this chick for saying somebody was annoying. It's remarkable to me. My friend. Oh, my friend. You don't understand. My friend posted. Here's your proof. Here's, they, they were my bestest friend ever. She's brain dead right now. It's amazing that nobody like took a minute to sit back and think, okay, this girl claims, this girl claims that uh, she was driven to try to commit suicide and put in a mental hospital, and now she's dead, because she killed herself under suicide watch at a psych ward. <laughs> How did she pull that off? How exactly did she murder herself in a psych ward? She couldn't even successfully kill herself outside of a psych ward. But now that she's under lock and key and monitored 24-7, now she's managed to do it. And more than that, she's somewhat retarded. She's a little brain dead after that happened. How how exactly does that come about? I don't know. Chad, I'm, I guess I'm a little lost. I'm trying to figure out how, how did she murder herself inside the psych ward. Does anybody have any great insight into what she did? Haley did nothing wrong. Haley did nothing. You're right, Chet. Absolutely nothing wrong. She's out there. She's out there cyberbullying the weak. I think Haley Morales is a fan of Sam Hyde. I think she adheres to the early and often motto. And she taught this Lena girl a lesson. You know, school of hard knocks, sometimes you got to learn the hard way. Um, from Thorkel, uh, you motherfucker, I was about to go to the gym. Okay. Uh, from Lupum, have 100 lemons to help with your car. Stay safe. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Cat Dad, say you love my dad, or say you love my daddy, or I'll jump into a creek. Well, I don't know your father, so I can't really profess my love for him. From Ken Ashcorp, here's some Chinese lemons so you can build the spruce moose and escape this clown world, Jim. Oh, well, thank you. From Lupum, smuggle phones up your butt, Jim, for the IG emotes. <laughs> I love the fact. How is she doing that? What kind of psych ward do you go to where you can post on Instagram about being on Suicide Watch and nobody notices? <laughs> she's, she's editing shit on Instagram and uploading it, talking about this. From the Big Sniff, use these Chinese lemons to pay for your car, Farmer Jim. Uh, Sir Scallywag, just dropping this off before I had to work. And Des Greenhouse, uh, you're funny, Mr. Manchild, it's great. I, uh, you know, actually, I think they have a hashtag up and running for this. You know, in fact, let's take a look at some of the hashtags. I want to hear about the, the emotions of it. Uh, fly High Lena. I don't know if you want... Listen, okay. If uh, somebody kills themselves by jumping off a building, that's what I'm going with because nobody's giving me details. Here's how I assume the suicide attempt went down. Lena, devastated by the fact that Haley, a makeup YouTuber won't be her bestest friend in the world, broke out of her psych ward suicide hold, physically fought off all the interns, guards, and nurses in hand-to-hand -hand combat because she's been trained as a martial assassin, ran up to the 80th floor. This is the world's biggest psych hospital, and this girl likes to do it big, okay? Beats all these people up, escapes the psych ward, gets to the rooftop, then standing at the precipice, at the edge looking down at the people that look like ants beneath her, curses the sky, screams out loud, this is your fault, Haley. This is all because of you. And does the most amazing backflip ever seen right down to the pavement. It takes a while. She actually has time to post on Instagram as she's falling the 80-story trip down to the pavement below. So given that this girl threw herself off an 80-story building, I don't know if the hashtag fly high Lena is the appropriate one to go for. You know, it seems a little mean. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna do a triple gainer off the top of a building, I don't know if you should be telling people they should be flying high. But let's take a look. We can read just just the most amazing 
all these people talking about somebody, they're so convinced of it. It's again, it just blows my mind how stupid Instagram uh, users are. Now let's let's take a look at some of these amazing ones uh, from Maggie. I already miss our talks. I miss you so fucking much, and I wish this wasn't happening. I can go on and on with stories of our dumb conversations, but I can only say so much. I really miss your beautiful face, no matter how hard you tried to convince me otherwise. Rest easy. BBG, I, I guess Lena was black? Isn't BBG big black girl? Now I'm picturing a 500-pound black teenage female throwing herself off a rooftop that's 80 stories up and creating a seismic event when she hit the pavement. From Skylar Yoon, Haley Morales, words resulted in a death and she came on to victimize herself. Her mother threatened teens with lawsuits if they say Haley is at fault. I had hoped that she would change, but I think she just doesn't have a good in her heart. Oh, these are some hard-hitting truths. Oh, uh, make sure to spread awareness, everybody. Uh, purple for Lena. I'm not sure why it purple. Maybe it was the color of her skin after she hit the pavement. <laughs> it's some blood mixed in with the skin tone kind of turned to a purplish color while it coagulated before the janitor could come sweep her up. I don't know. From Gabby. I can't really word how I feel about you right now, but I know you didn't deserve this. No one does. I truly form, or I truly farm the bottom of my heart. Hope you're happy again, wherever you may be. Rest easy. This is, what's to stop us? What's to stop anybody from just claiming you're a super fan and that somebody on Instagram made you upset and then having your quote unquote friend post from your account that you've done a, a triple gainer off a building or that you stepped in front of a semi truck. You could, you could devastate Instagram with that. They don't, they don't require any proof. They don't care. Everybody wants to be the, oh my God, I'm so emotional. I was such good friends with her. We totally, totes for real, we're the bestest of friends on the internet. <laughs> I, I have to see what this is. Purple for Lena. Oh, here we go. Fly high, baby girl. I don't think she flew. I think she fell from Naya because she didn't deserve that. But I would never think she would stoop this low to make a girl harm herself. Again, she said she was annoying. How is, it, how is that a dictate to go kill yourself? And it's not even like Haley cares or anything. I'm so upset people are dying so much recently. It's too much. Lots of crying emojis. Really, is this a dude? <laughs> Wait a minute, is this a guy? This is a guy. Why are you writing this on the internet? What the fuck is the matter with you? I didn't know her, but I did follow her. Thoughts and prayers. I'm so upset. Crying emojis. Look at this motherfucker. I, you know what? I, actually, I've got a new uh, theory. This guy doesn't give a fuck about Instagram thoughts, but he's like, hey, opportunity to get some pussy here. All I've got to do is act like I emotionally care about these stupid girls, and everybody's going to think I'm such a nice guy. And they're, see, can't you tell how sweet he is? Look at all the hearts. <laughs> He's using this as a dating technique. Harumi, I'm on to you, buddy. Uh, Nata, Nate, or whatever you're, I don't know what that fucking says, but I'm on to you. I know what you're doing. Trying to be the bad boy with the good heart. Talking about some chick that doesn't exist, fictionally killing herself and how it broke you up inside. <laughs> and now you're going to just wait for it to roll in, aren't you? All those phone numbers. Oh, this guy, he has found it. He figured it out. He got the golden He got the golden formula. I know how to convince these stupid girls to, to fall in love with me. Every time some fictional thought kills herself, I'm going to just talk about how it fucks me up emotionally. Oh, Oh, I'm so devastated. Oh, it makes me cry. I'm, oh my God, I'm crying right now. <laughs> uh, from Gopnik, Lena OD'd on red pills and was thus assassinated. That's a, it's a, it's a potential. It's a potential for what happened. That's true. Maybe, maybe she was getting real, real, uh, you know, open about a certain group of people. And they're like, we can't have this anymore. Execute plan 1488. And throw her off a building. How are we going to cover this up, boss? I don't know. Blame Haley Morales. <laughs> Blame Haley Morales. Nobody can know we did this. 
Holy shit. Uh, I'm looking forward to see how it plays out. If the mom's already threatening lawsuits against people for talking about it, it's just going to make people want to talk about it more. It's like the perfect storm of stupid. Haley Morales didn't make anybody kill themselves because I guarantee you Lena doesn't exist. And if Lena did exist and killed themselves because somebody said you're fucking annoying, <laughs> that's Darwinism at work. I feel no sympathy. Sorry, I'm just calling it as it is. No sympathy on that. But the fact that all these uh, tribute videos and RIP videos with all the emotional music for somebody nobody knew. I haven't seen one picture of this girl. Like nobody, It's like nobody knew them, but they're all convinced they're dead now. And that Haley Morales is, she dragged her up to the rooftop and physically threw her off. <laughs> See you later, black girl. Woof, right off the rooftop. Don't fuck with Haley Morales' makeup tips tutorials. Crashing down into the earth beneath them. You know, as long as we're talking about uh, stupid shit on social media. That's, that's my segue. Don't blame me. Where is it? Here we go. A little bit of news. A little bit of news. Breaking breaking current news right now on uh, Twitter, apparently. Uh, Dan Schneider is in for a little bit of a rough ride. I know I've covered Epstein quite a bit. Uh, I'm fascinated with that. In fact, he's going into court again today on the 31st. Uh, people are speculating the reason he uh, tried to kill himself, quote-unquote, is because he was served with a particular lawsuit from another victim. And that maybe there's something about this particular person that really scares the shit out of him. And that's why he tried to off himself. Uh, though I find it very odd that his cellmate, a guy convicted of killing four people and an ex-cop, happened to have an illegal cell phone on him the day before this all took place. Makes me a little suspicious. But who knows how that's going to break. But anyway, Epstein's going into court again today. They're going to try to get him out of federal lockup. I don't think the judge is going to give a shit. I think the judge thinks it's funny. And he should, because fuck Epstein. Claims he's a billionaire. Not a billionaire. But a very rich man who's never spent any time in a shitty, dingy cell. Probably really fucking with his head. So with Epstein in the news and, you know, everybody talking about it, I mean, fuck, we had... Uh, who was the guy from American Beauty? Kevin Spacey. We had Kevin Spacey. His lawsuit got dismissed on the charges of telling people to grab his dick in public. <laughs> or whatever weird shit he was up to. So lots of talk about uh, sexual misconduct and pedophilia, but there's one name. There's one name that's always protected. He's the man with the party van. I'm talking about our good boy Dan. Dan Schneider. The OG when it comes to rumors in Hollywood and television. For some reason, this guy's like a Teflon Don. Nothing can stick to him. <laughs> All his you know, former starlets can go crazy, put up videos of them acting like they're insane. Name dropping them doesn't matter. He can make a thousand little girls rub their feet in his face. People just applaud it and like, oh my God, that's so original. Way to go, Nickelodeon. <laughs> so, like Dan somehow always slips through the, the net. He always seems to escape it. But apparently that might be coming to an end because one of the former Disney starlets or Nickelodeon starlets or former stars is starting to drop hints that maybe they're going to be talking about some big stuff. And maybe it relates to Dan Snyder. And wait till you see the amount of traction this gained uh, from this particular tweet. This is from uh, July 30th, so just yesterday. Uh, Nicole from Zoe 101. I'm shook she's really exposing Dan Schneider. Half a million views. Just think about that for a minute. It's reached the point where everybody suspects Dan Schneider is some weird fucking sex offender. They're just normal people are talking about it. They're like aware of it. If you bring up Dan Snyder, people are going to be like, oh, yeah, the foot guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the guy that stocks little girls' feet on the studio lot. I know what you're talking about. Uh, so this is the video. Uh, let's let's give it a listen. Oh, it's a, a tweet or a Instagram post, uh, I'm guessing, from the Zoe 101 star. Uh, why am I left out? Lol, it's kind of hilarious now. We are like 30 years old. Wow. I guess they weren't invited to the reunion party. I shouldn't be crying because I'm an adult <laughs> and those things were so long ago, but I guess it just brought up old memories and it's just sad. 
I don't get it. Then they followed up with this post. This is for every woman who ever felt left out. Every woman who ever felt lonely. You are not alone. This is a world of women out there waiting to love you. Okay, I'm going to make a video letting you all know my experience of being Nicole on Zoe 101. Oh, somebody post the picture of Dan Schneider sweating nervously. Stay tuned. I think it's important now more than ever to speak out. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, Dan, time to leave the country. This Zoe 101 reboot is triggering a lot of childhood trauma. Listen, I don't think it's fair to tell anybody how they should feel when they're dealing with childhood trauma triggers. So please be nice during this time. Thank you. So, a former starlet who worked on one of the main shows that Dan was running, producing, directing, whatever. Uh, the same show, by the way. Zoe 101 is where the rumors came about that Britney Spears' little sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, was actually impregnated by Dan Schneider. That was a rumor circulating on those... Uh, there's a certain website that talks about gossip, and that kept getting br brought up, that Dan Schneider knocked up Jamie Lynn Spears, and they, they paid off some kid to pretend it was a father to avoid a scandal. So now here's a co-star from that show who's suddenly talking about being emotional and childhood trauma, and they keep bringing up Dan Schneider. Oh, boy. <laughs> Dan Schneider, by the way, was recently fired, you know, he had like a aura of protection around him because he was making, he was a hit maker. He could create a show that would get 10, 20 million uh, and then through syndication, even more money. Just ridiculous amounts of money for Nick and Disney and whoever he worked for. But he got fired. He got fired for being unprofessional on set and uh, mistreating people. So that aura of protection doesn't exist anymore. So when you start to get former starlets coming out and saying, I want to talk about my childhood trauma from the set, and it's important for women to speak out. Are we about to see Dan Snyder get Me Too'd? Is Dan Snyder about to get Weinstein? I mean, is it finally happening? Is it possible? Everybody's been waiting for years to see that happen. And the fact that it just comes out of left field? I don't know. I don't know, chat. You tell me. You tell me, do you think... You think our boy Dan here is in for a tough time? Oh, I see some I see some Fs in chat. If the stream dropped out on you, just hit F5 to refresh. Occasionally it drops out. I guess Dan and Nickelodeon don't want us talking about this. Uh, from Ecstasy of Thinking, this is retarded and I love it. But where is Gail? We will get to Gail. I was talking about more recent things. Uh-oh. I'm seeing F's and I don't know why. Are we are we hitting F for poor Nicole? You think she's gonna have a tragic accident, chat? Is that is is Nicole gonna pull Alina and take a header off an eighty story building? Is that maybe where this is going? Uh, you know, this makes me want to take a look at just weird Dan Schneider shit. That it just exists out there. In fact, what happens if you just search his name? Like if we just search his name. Okay. I, I want to see if I can show you the search results. Will this show up? All right. Seriously, this is what comes up. Oh, I don't even know if it's going to go that high. Maybe maybe I can't show you this. Oh, no, it's not going to do it. When I enter Dan, if you go on YouTube and enter Dan Schneider, the first thing that, oh, you can see it. There you go. See, I'm spelling Dan Schneider. Look at the first two results, foot and feet. You can't even look up his name without immediately going to what they know he does. It's like the worst kept secret. Oh, yeah, look at this. Uh, 2.1 million views. <clears throat> Talking about uh, Dan Schneider. Gro groomed for success, a Dan Schneider story. Uh, created by Dan Schneider. I bet this is going to be one of these. You know, let's take a look at this. I think this is the weird highlight reel that shows all the fucked up shit that Dan does. Let's... In. This is Dan Schneider's writing, folks. Duh. See if you notice a uh, uh, see if you notice like a common theme. After this, we massage my feet. No, gross. Come on, work the heel, rub it like a man. David, 
I hired him to read the book to me. <laughs> Welcome to Nickelodeon, kids. Oh, you want to be a star, do you? Take your shoes off, kid. Yeah, there. Sam? Sam? Wake up! I'll show you! I can't believe I'm doing this! <laughs> it's amazing to me that Schneider has done this for like decades. For decades he's done this! <laughs> All the stories that circulate. If you look his name up, the first thing is fate. That's the first result. It's like the worst kept secret in Hollywood. <laughs> okay, on three, I'm gonna... Just do it! Alright. There we go. Spread your toes, spread your toes, girl. Hold big toe in your mouth. Check this out. Who wants to be a star? Welcome to Hollywood. I'm Dan Schneider. I want you to suck on your toes. That's funny. The kids like it. Now just look at the camera and say, they taste tasty, Dan. <laughs> it's just, we're just, we're just, we're testing out angles and lights. This won't air on television. Just look at me. Look at me and eat the toe. Eat the toe for Dan Schneider. <laughs> oh, I think I think that's uh, Jamie Lynn Spears. I think that's the one that everybody alleges he knocked up. <laughs> Have you noticed the trend with Dan Schneider shows? I don't know. It's hard to pick a common theme. What could Dan Schneider be up to? So many things happening. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> God, was he the one that came out with the uh, the cuck show? Bella and the Bulldogs? <laughs> it's just what's that? Actually, I want to see if that was Dan Schneider, too. Hold on. Yeah, because I think... I think Bella and the Bulldogs was a story about a little white girl joining an all-black football team <laughs> that was named the Bulls. <laughs> Just no subtlety, Nickelodeon. Oh my god, it's on four seasons now. Season number four already. I don't see any pictures of anybody sucking their toes, so I don't think Dan Schneider was a part of this particular production. Oh. Oh, Dan. Dan Schneider, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting sidetracked just by the Dan Schneider shit. It's hard. It's Everybody knows. It's amazing. It looks like Shane Dawson did one with 10 million views from a year ago. Holy shit. Oh, what was the... Uh, chat, maybe somebody can link this to me. Uh, it was one of his former stars losing their shit on like an Instagram video. And, like, freaking out and crying and had fucked up makeup on, looked like the Joker. And they kept uh, they kept saying, this is your fault, Dan. I, I don't know what show they were from, iCarly or one of the fucking ones that he did. Uh, see if I can find that clip. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. Oh, oh, here's one. Somebody got his Twitter account. Let's take a look at Dan Schneider's Twitter account. Uh, this guy I did a video on it. Dan Schneider's What's everybody Twitter. Hoover? Today I'm going to be talking about Dan, but I like your foot choice even. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Dan Schneider, this is how unsubtle he is about his uh, fetish and targeting children. He would just he would just randomly Photoshop feet onto little girls. Like, he, this is a picture from his Twitter account. He just Photoshops feet on their head. <laughs> it's so weird. Even better. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, no, no. I... I hate this. I hate. Let's, dude. Let's see if we can find some. Fucking retweets. Someone. This this toe belongs to one of the. Oh, Dan, you're just not subtle at all. At least this has it organized. Uh, let's see. 
And again, Dan Schneider. Toes similar to fingers, but not nearly as good. Who agrees? Who agrees? Oh, Dan trying to... A little subterfuge. Would you like to see Victoria Justice pour ketchup all over her feet? Well, here you go. <laughs> Links to the clip. Yeah, Dan, that's what everybody was waiting for. That particular... Pick Carly Tickle Sam's very unusual toes. If you have a moment, will you please name Sam's toes for us? <laughs> this fucking guy. Uh, here's Dan Schneider on Facebook. Who wants to see Jenny McCurdy's toes? I got plenty of picks to go around if you tune into the new iCarly episode. I balls this Friday on Nick. <laughs> this fucking dude. Just no shame. Dan Schneider has no shame. Oh, I can't imagine the amount of fucking Nickelodeon stars. All these videos are all talking about it. Some of these videos have 10 million views. There's, there's like, there's no, everybody, there's no getting around it anymore. In five. Uh, here's another video. Let's take a look at this one. And then we'll, uh, we'll move on. I just found it interesting. Uh, this one is called, uh, Dan Loves Feet. With a hundred thousand fucking views. In five, four, three, two. I know you see. Because I will pay for it. Holy shit, forget Epstein. I think we found the real problem here, chat. I think I think we know what's going on. On that uh, on those children's TV lots. Oh. Let's see here. From Fascist Rabbit. Jade broke down, trade her in for a newer model. Well, I'll get right on that. I'll get right on that. From Ken Ashcore, press F for Dan Soul Brother Schneider. Uh, you know, I always prefer Dan, I'm going to skeet, skeet, skeet on your feet, Schneider. But, you know, whatever. He's got plenty of nicknames. Uh, ecstasy of thinking. Oh, okay. And then back to, to Gail. We will get to Gail on another stream. This one, again, is a bit shorter because I have to bring the fucking car into a mechanic. So i got to go do that. Always fun times. Always, always good times. Who doesn't love waking up in the morning <laughs> to talk about teenage suicide and molestation? You know, just your typical average everyday conversations uh, you know what I was planning though uh, once we kind of finish up with the Gale stuff uh, I was thinking when I did the Sovereign Citizen videos up on YouTube I had a lot of Sovereign Citizens uh, flag and copyright them they got very fucking upset about those videos uh, and it was always a pain in the ass to try to get around that but now that I'm streaming on DLive we kind of can shit on Sovereign Citizens all we want I mean, they can't really do anything over here because I don't think the Chinese Lemon Emperor cares about your land boat or the Articles of Confederation. In fact, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we're safe and secure over here. And what reminded me of this was somebody posted a video of some old lady getting her shit kicked in for an $80 ticket. Now, not really sovereign citizen, but it reminded me of it. I figure we can... We can watch a confused old lady what did she... uh, get into an argument with somebody and uh, get her ass kicked by a cop for not wanting, I guess, a forty or eighty dollar ticket. What did she... uh, but yeah, uh, going forward, I think I might do, I might do a few sovereign citizen streams. Uh, there's a lot more shit out there. I never got to do the follow up. Like I, I did the one where they get crazy and fight the cops, and I did the one where they act like lunatics in the courtroom. And talked about all the weird financial shit of using their birth certificate as a loan guarantee. But I never got to show you what happens uh, when they decide to get, like, really violent. And there are a lot of uh, videos out there of them, like, 
just pulling out a fucking M16 and going to town on police. Like, you wonder, like, why are cops so off-put about sovereign citizens? <laughs> it's because they get violent really quickly if you fuck with their ideas about the Articles of Confederation. Uh, so let's take a look, see what happened to our old lady here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no, wait, that's... Why is he on the screen? What is going on? Oh. Oh, I see. I went to the wrong... I went to the wrong one. <laughs> Our magic sweetheart getting all those girls. Wrong screen. What did issue uh, for a defective equipment? It's eighty dollars. Uh, you have till September sixteenth to take care of this. Uh, get you to sign there with the exodus. So you don't even give a warning for this. You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. Well, I'm not going to give you a warning for something you've been driving for six months. That. Well, I don't want to sign it because I don't want to do that. Either. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay $80 for something that is fixable and I can fix it. All right. That's all you want Go ahead, to do. step out of the car. Why? Because you're under arrest. Step no, out. Step out of the vehicle. Uh, you always know it's going to end well when the cop says, step out of the car, you're under arrest. And, and the driver says, no, I'm not. No, I'm not, dude. Do something about it, bitch. I'm not signing your ticket. Fuck you, pig. Fuck authority. Step out. No. Step out. I'm giving you a lawful order to step out. <laughs> She's rolling her window up. That'll stop him. You be fair with me and I'll be fair with you. Step out. No. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm placing you under arrest. <laughs> step you out. You are full of <laughs> because you're not placing me under no <laughs> arrest. S S do not, do not oh, take shut off. shut up and give me that and I'll sign it. Step out. No. no we're beyond that. You want me step to out. <laughs> Dispatch, I've got a grandma on the run. Dispatch, I repeat, we have a grandmother on the run. Send SWAT. Get out of the car! 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 You better leave me! Put your hands behind your leave back! Leave me alone! Put your hands behind your back! No. Now! <laughs> she's fighting him! Yeah, that's it. A geriatric 60-year-old woman, she's gonna stop the physically fit officer from cuffing her. Put your hands behind your back! Oh, I need to... We need to watch this again. Everything... This... Everything goes wrong in the span of 20 seconds. Imagine you're some kid. Imagine you're some grandkid waiting for grandma to show up because she went to get you cookies at the store. And she's... She's rolling around a gravel parking lot getting tased by a police officer. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! You better leave me! Put your hands behind your leave back! Leave me alone! Put your hands behind your back! No! Now! I said leave me alone! I mean it! Oh, here we go. Here we go. That senility is going to disappear real quick once the electric volts course through her. Leave me alone! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back. Lay down and put your hands behind your back. Now. No, you will not. You're going to get it again. $80 ticket to felony in 3, 2, 1. Well, I don't think it worked out well for her. <laughs> she, she gave it a go, though, didn't she? Fuck the police. Maybe she's like a big fan of uh, <laughs> NWA. Maybe she rocks that shit when she's driving around the countryside in her pickup truck. It's like, fuck this cop. You're not going to give me a ticket. Fuck you, buddy. I'm going to make a run for it, and then I'm going to physically fight you. You can't arrest me. Do you realize 
guys, you just got yourself in a whole lot more trouble. What? For running? Oh, I didn't run. I told you you weren't going to arrest me. I pulled in here thinking that you would have gone. Are you hurt? Yeah, I'm hurt. What hurts? Everything. All right, I got EMS on the way to sing tight. You got a what on the way? I said I got a big truck to put your fat ass in, lady. You should have paid that $80 ticket. You wouldn't have got tased and rolled around on the gravel like a pig and eat. We got an ambulance on the way to check you out. Ambulance? I don't need an ambulance. Well, you got tased, so they got to check you out. You did not have to taser me. You wouldn't comply. You wouldn't get out. And then you tried to kick me. So, Why? yes, I did. Yeah, I tried to kick you because yeah. I'm a country girl. Because, no, I and didn't like And you got like tased because of it. Yes, and I didn't like being thrown on the ground. Well, well, you learned a valuable lesson, didn't you? Woman refuses to pay $80 ticket, then refuses to be arrested, then drives away. She could have avoided all of this if she simply accepted the ticket. I wonder what the comments are. Let's see. I tried to kick you because I'm a country girl. This woman cannot fathom being held accountable because it has never happened before. She has cried or bullied her way out of responsibility for decades. And finally it happens. People are enjoying the fact that uh, Grandma here, trying to escape the long arm of the law, <laughs> ended up getting her shit kicked in and had uh, had no recourse, couldn't really do anything about it. Oh, it's tragic. It's a tragic tale indeed when grannies try to flee the police. But no, watching that video earlier on uh, made me laugh just for the fact that she, she actually tried to fight him. <laughs> like she had a chance. She tried to fight him, kick him right in the balls. And he tased her ass. And they didn't even think about it. He went right for it. Just lit her up. Uh, but yeah, now that reminded me of uh, the Sovereign stuff. And I, I think that would be a fun stream. Focusing on Sovereign citizens and being able to look at a lot of the videos that are... I, they, they, like, they guard them. If you make fun of certain videos, they copyright strike them and flag them down immediately. So there's some good ones out there. Uh, play a little... I, I, actually, I don't know. I'm trying to think now. It technically would be news. So I don't know if the Lemon Emperor would care if we show uh, sovereign citizens going on killing sprees. Technically, it's news. It's educational. We're not just showing gratuitous violence to show gratuitous violence. But uh, either way, probably next week, I'll, I'll get that together. Uh, if you have any good clips that you can think of, feel free to, to hit my good friend up, Mr. Antibully, on, on Twitter, and I will incorporate it. Uh, but I've got a good selection already. I think good life lessons, good uh, good knowledge to have if you want to pay your taxes on how to get uh, loans with your birth certificate. Also, that one crazy motherfucker that's convinced that Navy terminology is like coded messages from the government about how they control you. Just all sorts of fucking bizarre shit. Good times. Good stuff. Now, we are... We are fast approaching the end of the hour. You know, there was other things I wanted to look at. Somebody sent me, I, a, a couple of people have messaged me talking about Comicsgate. I don't, um, I don't really follow that shit. Like, I, I'm aware of it. I understand it's like a, a thing against comic books. And I, I know some of the people that like do streams about it. Uh, but I don't really follow it. But people were messaging me saying a particular stream. There's like some big falling out. They're gay ops afoot. Uh, people doxing each other and doing other crazy shit. And I heard that, uh, did did the Earthworm Jim guy get kicked out for some reason? Right, is that, am I thinking of the right thing? Like, people are saying they threw him out for being too conservative. So I, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I was going to look at the, the stream if we had time, but we ran a little bit later than I thought we would. Uh, so maybe for Friday, we'll take a look at that and, and see what the fuck is going on. Uh, but again, it's not something I'm, really knowledgeable about it. It's not something I'm involved in, so I haven't been keeping up. I think the last thing I heard about Comicsgate was, was it Vox Day was trying to either insert himself or, like, copyright something or create, like, a, a Comicsgate comic? I, I, even that I vaguely am aware of. So, yeah, maybe that's more of, like, a Friday thing and we could figure it out. I, I don't know. Chad, if you have any idea, feel free to hit me up and try to explain exactly what the fuck's going on, because I'm out of the loop. From Tara Jester, the cop escalated the situation unnecessarily. And from Lupum, Palmer's chat says it's Ralph's mom. Uh, well, I wouldn't know... Uh, 
I, I I would suggest you go watch the sovereign videos I did, <laughs> especially the the safety training video at the beginning. That was made by like a Canadian firm, where it's talking about like cops. Well, what if they don't escalate the situation? It's a cop walks up to a guy and he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna give you a ticket." And the guy's like, "No, you're not." And the cop's like, "Well, maybe we can talk about this." And then the guy just stabs him in the gut. Like I would not want to be a police officer. Nobody likes what you do. You're always getting shit. Either you don't act when people think you should have acted, or you do act and people think you shouldn't have done it. All I know is this lady tried to flee the scene after being uh, ticketed when she was told not to. And then when she was told to get out of the vehicle, started fighting him. I mean, I guess he could have taken out the baton and started cracking her skull open. But maybe the, maybe the taser was more humane? Who knows? I think at the end of the day, I just find it amusing watching a fat chick flop around on the ground. As she's getting 89 billion ampules shot through her body. Uh, but I'm a terrible person. After all, I laughed about the tragic, tragic death of our girl, Lena. Our big black girl jumping off that 80-story building. I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole and a terrible person. Poor Lena. Rip and pepperoni girl. <laughs> you will always, will always remember you, Lena. We'll always remember you. Uh, from Malone Dick, uh, let's see, Malone Dick 117, Jim, what were your hounds barking at, and can we get an woo in chat? I don't know. They they will bark at shit just because they find it amusing, uh, just because they're annoying dogs. Uh, HTRTU, current list of words filtered in DLive chat. Oh, you're trying to get me nailed here. I don't know if the Lemon Emperor will let me say yeah. I'm pretty sure those are prohibited words on DLive. HDR to you. DLive is fucking gay. No stream without at least one crash, but instead of fixing it, they gotta shove a word filter up our ass. From Snots, did you hear uh, the YouTuber Shannon Rose got caught manufacturing drama with a drama channel, leading to her being exposed for her past in racial and animal abuse fetish porn? The fuck? She started drama with a drama channel and somehow people figured out she was a racist animal fucker? <laughs> what? From Gopnik, you can stop Schneider's hitman with caltraps because he refuses to pay them if they wear shoes. And finally, from Rodson, here's your video you wanted. Skip to 35. I guess we'll save that for another stream. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Oh, did we get taken off air? Did I get taken off air for reading HTRTU's chat? <laughs> I don't... I don't know what word filters they put in place. I know they are trying to change some things in the back end. Um, in fact, if I go to... Let me check out the page real quick here. If I go to the page, you'll see they put up those little... I think they do this on Twitch. It's the little images you can click on, so I got rid of like the text and I just put that up. Um, and so and they are changing stuff, but I don't know exactly everything they're trying to change. I'm not, I'm not 100% certain. <laughs> this might be... This might be the last mornings with the man-child. Thank you, HGRTU. But I read your chat nonetheless. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if it's a uh, global word filter list. I saw somebody talking about this earlier, too. Uh, saying that certain words were prohibited now in chat. Uh, so maybe that's something they're implementing as they try to, I guess, cycle up to bring more people in. Uh, who knows? I'm not 100% uh, certain. So Friday, uh, we will... Yeah, we'll take a look at the comic skate shit. And then I'm going to definitely follow up on the racial animal abuse fetish porn. <laughs> because how the fuck can't you? And then next week we'll do some Sovereign Citizen stuff. We got the Gale stuff coming up. And then Soviet Love Sausage. You ever read Garth Ennis's comics? The Boys has potential. Looking forward to seeing Stormfront and literal monkey ear rape in the show. By the way, if there's a... Uh, what is that? If there's a reason, we can only donate with PayPal, but not or not credit card. Yeah, I, I don't use Streamlabs. I've got to, like, I, I can make it so people can donate easier, and I can make it so they can use credit cards. I just haven't really got around to it, because uh, Streamlabs is not something I, I really use. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at it and see if I can get it uh, fixed for Friday, I guess. Uh, but that will that will do it. I've got to cut it short. Like I said, i got to bring my car in. Um... Yeah, so uh, there you go. For Friday, look forward to animal, racist animal fetish porn and comic skate doxings, I guess. I, I don't know. 
and then Sovereign Citizens and Gale next week. I hope you have a good day, chat. I hope the day treats you well and you have a good rest of the week. Uh, what song should we play out on? That's always a tough choice. Let me see if I can find something something nice to listen to. Uh, no, that's gonna that's not good. Uh, that's not good either. I, I mean, I like Rama Rama, but I don't want to always play Rama Rama. Oh, I guess what are we going to do with that? I don't know. Oh, I know what we got. Uh, we'll just go with this one. How could I not go with this one? It's a classic. All right, chat. Uh, have a good rest of your day. I will see you all on Friday. Uh, peace out.